Good morning, grade six students. Students, if you can hear me, please show off your hand. All the students, if you can hear me and see my screen properly, please raise your hand. Thank you, Muhammad Jabir, Khalid Ahmed, Khalid Nawaf, Ahmad Abdullah, Anas, Muhammad Ali. Thank you, all my dear students. And now kindly put your hand down so that we can start our lesson. Today, inshallah, students, you are going to have grammar. Today, inshallah, we are going to learn about how to read dates in English. By the end of our lesson today, my students, we are going to learn how to read dates in English. And I will ask your classmates, Khalid Ahmed. Are you there, Khalid Ahmed? Yes, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, Khalid. Today, inshallah, Khalid, we are going to have and fulfill only one object by the end of the lesson. Can you help us read the objective of our lesson today? To learn how to read dates in English. Bravo, Khalid. Good reading. So, students, by the end of the lesson today, you will learn how to read dates in English. And now, let's get started. Before we start our lesson, you have to learn that we have got two types of numbers. You know that when you say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the rest of the numbers, these numbers are called cardinal numbers. Teacher, what is the meaning of cardinal numbers? For example, we have got 40 students in the class. 40 is a cardinal number. Also, we have got 11 footballers in the football team. 11 is a cardinal number. So the numbers that you learn in 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, these are called in English cardinal numbers. OK, so what about the ordinal numbers? When you say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and the tenth and so many numbers in English these numbers and by this way is called ordinal numbers today inshallah we are going uh, are going to learn more about the cardinal numbers and the ordinal numbers learning about the cardinal and the ordinal numbers will help you to tell the dates correctly so the cardinal numbers are the numbers that are used for counting something when you count, for example, one plus one. By this way, you count. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four, and so on. So the cardinal numbers are the numbers that are used for counting something. What about the ordinal numbers, the teacher? The ordinal number is a number that tells the position of something in a list, such as, you are the first, you are the second, you are the third. When you say the first, that means your position is the first. OK, so we use ordinal numbers for for what? We use the ordinal numbers for the position. When you tell the position of something or someone, for example, you are the first. You are the second, you are the third, you are the fourth, you are the fifth. When I say the first, that means your position is the first. You are in the first place. You are in the, in the second place. You are in the third place. You are in the fourth place. You are in the fifth place and so on. Also, we use the ordinal numbers to tell about the floors. If you are living in a big building like this, imagine that your father and the mother live in the first floor. And you live in the second floor. Your brother lives in the third floor. Your sister lived, lives in the fourth floor. OK, and the fifth floor is empty. No one lives in the fifth floor. So we use the ordinal numbers to tell the position and to tell about the floors of a building. Also, we use the ordinal numbers to tell about the grade. For example, you are in the first grade. You are in the fourth grade. You are in the in the sixth grade. 
So we use the ordinal numbers to, to tell about the position of something or somebody, to tell about the floors in a building, to tell about the grades. So what about the date teacher? Let's have an example. Look here, we have got two months of the year, February and December. Look here, we have got two examples, 15th. Why teacher you use TH after the number 15? And why teacher you use ST not TH after the number 31st or 31? That is what we are going to learn about today. And before that, let's learn about the ordinal numbers from 1 to 31, depending on a complete month. For number one, say first. First, look here, students, the end letters of first is ST. So we use first. One plus ST. Say it first. Second, ND. Look here, look at the ending of the uh, word second. We have got ND at the end, second. Third, RD at the end, third. Fourth, TH, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. 21st. Again, students look here. 21st. With numbers that start with the number 1, say first. And 21st. 31st. 41st. And so on. 21st. 22nd. Again, you say Teacher, the second. Say 21st and 22nd. What's the reason? Because here you say 22nd. The word second ends in the letters ND. The ending letters of the word the second is ND. So when you say the short form or till the date, you say the short form, 22nd. ND stands for second, okay? 22nd, ND for the word second. 23rd, RD stands for the word third, RD. 23rd, okay? It's a short form, Salim. So again, starting from 20th, TH 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 13th. Sometimes the month is 31st or 31 days, you say 31st, okay? So first, 21st, 31st. Second, 22nd, 32nd, okay? Third, 23rd, 33rd. Fourth, fifth, and so on. So students now, how to say dates in English? This is our question now. How to say dates? in English. Read the following dates. Here you can see some examples for the dates. Look here, students, we have got the third day of October. Number three, this is a cardinal number. But what about the ordinal number to tell the position of the day or the order of the day? This is third. Third. We use the short form RD for the word third rd okay third of october 2019 uh, so here is students after the number or the ordinal number you have you have to say of third of october we don't write of but you have to say of like this the third the third of october 2019 another example Look here, students. The number 20, this is number, but about the order of the day in the month, 
we use the ordinal number 20th the 20th of april the 20th of april 2007 when you tell a date in english you have to follow this sequence you have to start with the day then the month and at the end you have to say the year day then month then the year days like what first second third fourth 14th 20th 21 31 and so on then say the month teacher can you remind us with the months of the year of course we have 12 months of the year they are january february march april may june july august september october november and december 12 months of the year examples of for the year for example 2007 2007 2007 and here students 1997 this is a year how can you see it in english 19 look here students 19 97 1997 the third one look here students we have got the numbers 2 0 or 0 1 and 9 you will see it like this 2000 2000 and 19 2019 if you have got a problem with saying the years in english you can divide the numbers into two parts for example this one 2019 you can say 2019 2019 okay so students in english when you say the dates you have to follow this sequence you have to start with the day and then the month of the year and then the year at the end it's important my dear students to learn about the prepositions in english uh, specifically the prepositions at in and on to tell the exact dates or to tell the dates correctly here you can see three prepositions in English. The preposition at or half jar at, the preposition in or half jar in, and the preposition on or half jar on. We use at, the preposition at, for a precise time, exact time. We use at to say the exact or precise time. For example, at three o'clock, at 10.30 a.m., at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment. What about the preposition N? We use the preposition N for months, years, centuries, and long periods. Example for the preposition at is, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. And we use the preposition N for months, years, centuries, and long periods. For example, in May, this is a month. In summer, season of the year, in the summer, and a year, in 1990. In the 19th, in the next century, in the ice age, in the past, or in the future. Example, I was born in July. Look here, students, this is important. You have to use the preposition N before months of the year. What about the preposition on? We use the preposition on before days and dates or complete dates. For example, on Sunday, on Tuesday, Tuesdays, on 6th of March, on 25th December or uh, at 2010, on Christmas Day, on La uh, Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve. For example, do you work on Mondays? So students who use the preposition at uh, for precise time or exact times, in before months of the years, and on before days of the week. Okay, and also for complete dates. Now, students, let's have got let's have more examples. Read the following examples. 
when is when is their birthday and before this i have a question to you all my dear students and you all have to write in the chat box answer the question when is your birthday yeah khalid is perfect look here students look at khalid's answer khalid says i was born in the 13th of april 2010 excellent khalid and the perfect answer now students let's learn more about how to tell dates in english let's answer this question when is their birthday look here students we have got two examples example number one here students three or d which is third the month is april so you see it's third of april not third april third of april and then the year 1995 when you say it as a whole or a complete date say it like this it's my birthday is or it's on we use the preposition on before complete dates when you say only the year only the year use the preposition in i was born in 2010 number one he was born on the third of don't forget the preposition of i was born on the 3rd of april 1995 in writing put a comma after the month and before the year okay what about the second i want in one here anybody in the in the meeting in the class to read the second one students muhammad ali would you like to read muhammad Muhammad Ali Eid. Yes, teacher. Muhammad Ali Eid. Good morning at the beginning. Good morning, teacher. Muhammad, what about the second person? When is his or her birthday? It's on the 14th of June 2010. Bravo, Muhammad. Good. So, students, now try to say the dates of the following. We have got three dates i will help you in number one number one is done for you as an example look here students when is your birthday it's on the 5th of august you start with the number the day and then the month and then the year it's on look here students we use the preposition on with the complete date it's on not in it's in 2001 but when you say the complete date use the preposition on it's on the 5th of august 2001 okay 5th of august 2001 so students get ready i will ask one of you to read the second date who would like to say the second date Teacher, can I answer? Yes, teacher. Go on. It's on uh, the 2nd of December, 1991. Excellent and a perfect answer. What about the third one? Here, students, get ready. We have got another example, another date, 17th. This is the day, number 17 of the month. And this is the ordinal number, 17th. February, this is the month, and the year is 19th or 1984. When you say or tell the date, you will do it like, like what? This is the question. Students, Rith, yeah, Rith is ready. So Rith, go on. It is on the 17th of February. 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 19th. 19, 19th. 84. 84. Right, to make it clear for you, as I told you before, that there is a difference between the number or the cardinal number and the ordinal number. The cardinal number is 19, and the ordinal number, Libaini Tartib, is 19th. 19 
19th. So, so write your answer is correct. It's on the 17th of February 1984. When you write, only write this. OK, but when you read, you have to say 17th. It's on the 17th of February uh, 1984. OK, students? To me, in a read, I have to uh, say that. Yeah, when you write, تخيل نفسك مذيع في النشرة الإخبارية. في النشرة الإخبارية يكتبون between brackets only. التاريخ اللي بين الأقواس فقط. لكن مذيع النشرة الإخبارية لما يقرأ لا ما بيقرأ دي لازم يقرأ بالطريقة دي. Okay, so if you are on TV, you are an anchor man, and there is a date, you they will write the date like this, the date between brackets. But when you read, you have to read like this. It's on the 17th of February 1984. Okay. Okay. So now students get ready. We have got another examples, another practice. Write the dates correctly. Then no need for this. So here is students we have got four examples. I will give you the answer for number one. Number one is done for you students as an example. Look here students what is about the date number one. اليوم الثاني والعشرين or the 22nd. 22nd. احذف ال ND is a رقم عادي. 22. But as an ordinal number it's a 22nd. Okay. 22nd, this is the day. September, this is the month. 1967, this is the year. When you say or read the date, you will read it like this. When is your birthday? It's on the 22nd of September 1967. It's on the 22nd of September 1967. So, students, it's time for you to read. And I will go back to the students here. Teacher? Yes, Ahmed. Can I join? Okay, Ahmed, start with number one. The students here, Ahmed will do number one. The day is 29, and the month is January, and the year is 2011 or 2011. Okay, Ahmed, go on. When is your birthday, Ahmed? The question is, when is your birthday? It's on the 29th of January, 2011. Bravo, Ahmed. Good. So students, look here. Ahmed said it's on the preposition on the 29th of January, 2011. Excellent. If you have got a problem with saying the uh, year, uh, you can say, OK, wait a minute. If you have got a problem with the year, you can say 2011. You can say 2011, 2011. No problem with this. For number one, you can say 1967 or 1900. But this is an old fashioned. OK, the modern fashion is 1967 or 20. 11 2011 what about the third so students get ready the question is when is your birthday i want one of you to tell the date the third date the day is 13 the ordinal number is 13th the month is may and the year is 2012 or 2012 who would like to tell the date students if you would like kindly turn on your microphone Okay. Hamza, Hamza, here we have got the third date. Can you tell us when is your birthday? Uh, 30 May. No, no, uh, Hamza, you have to follow the sequence. You have to say it's, it's on, on the, yeah, go on. It's on the uh, 20 uh, No, 13th. Nef. Hamza, we are in number three. Uh, okay. It's on the. It's on the. Thirtieth May. Of of May. Of uh of uh. May. Of May uh two. Thousand. Two thousand. And. and 
2012. And if you have got a problem with saying the number of the year, you can say 2012. 2012, no problem. So when is Hamza's birthday? It's on the 30th of May 2012. Good, Hamza. What about the last one? When is your birthday? Let's ask, for example, your brother. When is your birthday or brother's birthday? The day is 9. The ordinal number is 9th. The month is March. And the year is 1997. Okay, so students who would like to participate doing number three, Muhammad Ali Eid, would you like? Yes, teacher. Muhammad, when is your birthday? It's on the 9th of March. 1997. Excellent, Muhammad. Good and perfect. So, students, this is the answer. It's on the 9th of March 1997. So, students, there is a difference between the written, the written, this is written, the written form of the dates, and when you say or read the date, you write the date like this. When you come to school, I am that your teacher and I will write the date on your board like this, 22nd September 1967. But when I read the date, it will be like this. It's on the 22nd of September 1967. It's on the 29th of January 2011. It's on the 30th of May 2012. التاسع من شهر مارس أو من شهر ثلاثة ألف وتسعمائة سبعة وتسعين. It's on the ninth of March nineteen ninety seven. Students, this is the end of our lesson today. See you tomorrow, insha Allah. Have a nice day and goodbye. إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة.